Today I want to talk about why max limit break is not worth going for in Nikki, especially if you are a F2P player or a small spender. Sit down, open your notebooks, and sharpen your pencils, as today's class is hereby in session. First of all, let's establish what MLB means. MLB means that you manage to pull the current rate up unit as well as three additional copies of that unit. What do you get in return for this investment? A wallpaper of the unit's burst, so you can appreciate it each day, as well as additional stats for your unit and additional bond levels, which in turn translate into additional stats as well. And now here is the kicker. Both the base stats provided from each additional copy and the stats provided from the additional bond levels are insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Why? Let me show the stats that an additional copy will provide for my units. Do note that the additional base stats depend on what type your unit is, attacker, defender, support. Defender units will get more HP, while attacker and supporter units are a mix of both. The bond stats are the same for everyone except Pilgrim, who will get slightly higher due to them having 10 additional bond levels. But even so, let's check how much attack my privacy would get from each additional copy until we reach max limit break, 470. Okay, how much attack does she currently have? 31,896, so how much is that? That's a whopping 1.473% additional attack compared to her current attack value. And let's check the bond... She currently has 403 at bond level 10. So let's do some quick math in order to see how much attack we get at MLB compared to a base privity. At max bond level, an attacker unit gets 1,640 attack, so we are currently missing 1,237 extra attack from max bond level privity from bonds, as you can go to level 10 bond with the base copy of each unit, Therefore, 1,640 at max minus 403 you get at 10, you are left with 1,237. Now, calculating also the extra 1,410 attack, 470 times 3 copies, I will have from the 3 copies I need to MLB my privity. My MLB privity would have 2,647 additional attack from a base privity. So... We can go from 31,426 attack as a base privity to 34,073 at max limit break, which is an increase of 8.42% in attack compared to the base. Meanwhile, let's also check how much attack the manufacturer gear provides. So, at level 0, the helm, chest, and gloves are providing a combined value of 7,642 attack which is already more than double what the extra copies and bond levels were providing you. If I were to also level the pieces to level 5, then the difference would be even more significant. Let's also calculate the percentage gained from having the three pieces equipped. Without them, we would go from 31,426 attack to 23,784 attack, which is a 24.31% decrease in attack. But what about the base T9 gear pieces? Well, those would provide us with a total of 5,879 attack, going from 29,663 attack to 23,784, which is a 19.81% decrease in attack. To sum up this point, even the base T9 gear pieces will provide you with a much bigger stat increase than the three extra copies needed to MLB a unit and the additional bond stats that come with them as well. Therefore, are you willing to spend potentially hundreds of pulls for an 8% stat increase? I would say that is inefficient and a big mistake to make as a F2P player or small spender, which could also brick your account because imagine you would go to max limit break the current unit because you think, hey, that's a cool ultimate background, and in two weeks a new collab with your favorite IP is announced, or, I don't know, Lilith or Cinderella is announced, or another meta unit, and you are on the mercy of shift up, praying they throw you an additional ten pull so you can luck sack your way after using all your gems and tickets on the previous banner. 
That's why my advice for all the players who are not whales or credit card abusers is to stick to just one copy of the units. Max limit break is never worth it and should be attempted only if you are on an extremely lucky pull session and you get all four copies in under 100 pulls. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments how many units did you manage to max limit break, and if you will still attempt to max limit break going forward. And until next time, I am Professor Veritas Ratio, and remember stay smart and sexy.